Hello, um, here's a spreadsheet for um, new format bulk operations. Um, it will help you create multiple campaigns and do it really easily. Um, this particular spreadsheet is for creating outer campaigns and creating manual campaigns, which can contain up to 50 keywords and which can contain uh, multiple ASINs. Uh, but I usually use multiple ASINs only in auto campaigns and I call it a lottery campaigns, not only me, but uh, a lot of people call it that way. Uh, but for manual campaigns, I usually use only one ASIN per campaign. Anyways, uh, let's walk you through um, this spreadsheet. Uh, the front, the input tab is more or less um, similar to what it used to be before. Uh, I just reorganized it a bit and um, the creator tab I marked it with colors so you can see orange color this will be your campaign um, name uh, rest of it will be um, placement adjustments and um, ad group settings green is your product targeting meaning your ace in your t-shirt and here is one if you want to use one only, uh, but if you want to use multiple ASINs, uh, here it is more, you can use more um, as much as you want. You can come. And yellow part is your keyword targeting. So let's make some examples. Let's start from our campaign, uh, like it is here. And let's call it um, outer, outer campaign. Um, let's. Out of Halloween, like it used to do before, it creates a um, campaign naming, it's uh, joining whatever you put in this cell, and then it adds in your ASIN, ASIN1. Oh, sorry, um, it puts ASIN and then it puts your uh, date and it creates uh, the naming structure of your campaigns in this way. Um, here you can put ASIN, multiple ASINs, and here you can choose whether it is ASIN and SKU. Um, why SKU? Um, the thing is, for if you want to use this uh, spreadsheet for match, you use ASINs. If you want to use this spreadsheet for setting up campaigns in your Seller Central account, you have to use SKU numbers. You cannot use ASINs. If you want to use, um, if you would put ASIN number here and upload the spreadsheet to your Seller Central advertising account, you will get an error. Uh, that's why Match uses ASIN, uh, Seller Central uses SKU. Um, right, so if we go here, we see it's an empty. Why? because for now it's a bug here this cell not be for now this cell cannot be empty uh, even for auto i will fix it up later um, the thing is you cannot use any targetings in new format of uh, bulk operations as i mentioned before Amazon has taken away that functionality from us, so we cannot target individual, uh, we cannot set up individual targetings, meaning loose mash, um, broad mash, um, sorry, supplements, and all sorts like that. Uh, we can create a campaign only uh, with all targetings enabled, and then the bid will be this part. So if you wanna make bid 23 cents, that's going to be the bid uh, for all um, of our targetings because it's a the default ad group bid. If you want to create a lottery campaign, uh, then you would need to add more ASINs here. Sorry. ASIN2, let's go. And Right, so as you can see here, it didn't change much, but all the ASINs are here. 
I think two, I think ten. So what you can do is you can simply copy this and paste it here and then well you can paste it here mm, and you can add let's say you have multiple icings 500 uh, therefore you would be just replacing here and copy paste copy paste copy paste and you can create a lottery campaign like this um, so now let's um, see how it works for uh, manual campaigns so for manual it will check this one and um, let's say Right, we don't need that. And let's say and let's put it phrase, phrase, let's set bid maybe to forty five cents. And what we're gonna achieve in this campaign is to find long tail keywords based on these two keywords. So what I can do here uh, is just put it into negative exact and negative exact. What it means, your campaign will not get clicks for exact match for these keywords. It will be forced to find long tail keywords uh, in phrase format. So, um, and we can say set 10% here. So as you can see, our campaign will look like this. Right, and here it is. Um, of course, here you can place your portfolio number. Again, it has to be number, it cannot be your portfolio name. Uh, to get this portfolio number, you would need to go to um, your bulk operations and download, create and download uh, some report. And then once it's downloaded, you just download and it's see portfolio and here you have portfolio IDs. So you would use this number um, over here. Uh, right, um, I hope it's quite simple and you understood everything uh, if you need any advice or if you have any questions uh, just hit me in the facebook group or in the comments um, on under this video um, peace